so in this tutorial we are going to learn how what is sorting algorithm so basically a sorting algorithm is used to sort a given record or you can say a given integer so for example if I have an integer array like this so I'm just going to assign this array some integer values and these are not in a sorted manner and by sorted manner uh, we can have two options one is the ascending order and the another one is the descending order so let me just write an unsorted array so two four six three and one so we are given this array and what we, we will have to do is we will have to create an algorithm which is going to solve which is going to sort this given array so in selection sort what we the basic idea is to uh, select the minimum element first so let's suppose uh, we are considering the whole array at the first iteration so we know that i is equals to 0 at this point and the last position will be obviously the size of the array uh, we will pick up the first element we will assign the first element as the minimum element or the smallest element so i will assign this as the smallest element so now what we are just going to do is we are going to create an if else statement and we are going to compare this smallest value with all the other integer values that are available in this range so we will compare 2 with 4 first then we will compare it with 6, then 3, and then similarly 1. So every time we're going to compare it, if the condition says that if the array position is less than small, So let's suppose uh, we will just compare the smallest element with the rest of the elements and if this uh, since we are sorting this in an ascending order so this is basically an ascending order so in ascending order what we will have to just do the, we will just have to sort this array like this one two three then four and then six so we know that if we will consider this whole array the minimum element is one if we will consider this part of the array the minimum element will be two so if we will just increment the value of y by one plus one after each iteration we are just going to uh, get the smallest element at uh, gi given this range so if we will increment the value of i by one i will be equal to one so now we will pick up this element as the smallest element so basically the smallest element is equals to the array ith position so the basic idea is that we are going to pick up the first element as the minimum element we will compare it with the next element and if this element if the next element is smaller than the smallest then we are going to assign the smallest as 4 so you can see that 2 is less than 4 so 4 is not definitely smaller so we will go to the next one 
then we will compare 6 with this smaller element and since 6 is also greater than 2 we are not going to change the smallest element then similarly we will move on to 3 and then we will move finally to 1 so when we will move to 1 we will see that 2 is greater than 1 so in this case we are going to move and we are going to make this as the smaller element so when we are comparing one, el one element with the another we are actually using this if loop and you can see that we are using two loops two for loops in this case so one loop has is just going to increment the value of i by one after each iteration so that after each iteration we will be able to get the smallest element of this whole array and then we will just when we will increment the value of i then we will just we are just concerned with this subarray and similarly we will obtain the minimum element of the subarray and it will come at this position and then we will increment the value of i and then we are concerned about this subarray and this goes on and on until and unless the value of i is less than the size of the given array so let's just uh, do the coding work i'm just going to implement this so you can see here that this is the main function and i have already created an array and i have assigned some values in this in this array you can see 2 4 6 1 3 and 9 are the values and the size of the array is 6 and i have passed the array and the size of the array to the selection sort function so in the selection sort function we will have to perform this whole implementation so the first thing what i'm just going to do is i'm going to take a small element and I will assign this sorry first we will create a for loop which runs from int i equals 0 and i will be less than size minus 1 then i plus plus So this uh, for loop is basically this one which uh, is used to increment the value of i after every each each and every iteration. So now we know that we are going to assign the smallest element as the array ith position. So I will assign the small element as the ith position of the array and I will also take another element which will just point to this index position so I will name it as POS which is position so what we are now going to do is we are now going to create another for loop and this for loop is used to compare the smallest element with the rest of the elements of the given array or you can say the array which is concerned because of this for loop so when i will be equal to one then we are concerned about only this much part of the array and so this for loop will run on only that part and since we know that the comparison is going to uh, occur from the next element so I will have to run this loop from int j equals i plus 1 position and the value of j should be less than size and then we are going to just increment the value of j and now what we are going to do is we are going to do the main task we are just going to use an if else statement to compare so we will compare the jth position of the array and if this 
value is less than small then what we are going to do is we are going to assign the smallest position as the array j position and we are going to assign the post pointer to the jth position so what we have done in this part is uh, it's very simple we are just comparing the j position which is the next element and uh, it will go on in incrementing by one so j will come at position one two three and four so what we are just going to do is we are going to compare the position uh, the value at this position j with the small element and whenever we get uh, whenever this condition evaluates to be true then we are just going to assign this small variable to that uh, to that value and we will also assign the post pointer to the jth position so once we are done the next task is to swap the values so when this condition evaluates to be true which means that the value at the jth position is less than small we're just going to swap the values so that we will uh, we will get the minimum element of this whole array at the beginning position so let's suppose first i'm going to compare this element 2 with 4 which evaluates to be false and then 6 which evaluates to be false then 3 when we will come at the 1 we will we know that the condition is true now so we are going to assign uh, one as the small and we are going to assign the position pointer equals to 0 1 2 3 4 suppose will be equal to 4 so now what we will have to do is we will have to swap 2 with 1 so when 1 will come at the beginning of the array we, we know that the minimum element of this whole array is 1 so 1 will come at the beginning of this array and when we will increment the value of i then we are concerned about this one then obviously 1 will come here and 2 will come here so the minimum element of the sub array will become 2 so 2 will get swapped at this position so let's just write the code for the swapping and we know that for swapping we will have to use a temporary variable so after this for loop we are going to assign the value of temp as array ith position so this is the temporary value now and now we are going to assign this array ith position as the array position so since we know that position is pointing to one uh, that's the main use of this position pointer so that we will know where to do the swap function so this is basically a swap we are swapping the value of i and pose after comparing all the elements using this for loop so you can see that this is an example of a nested for loop so the next step is to assign the position as the temp position which is the array ith position so now after these three lines uh, the value one and two will get swapped and now what we're just going to do is we will create a for loop that basically displays our sorted array so i will run it from zero till size then i plus plus and then we're just going to print out the value at position i so this is our whole program so let's run it and see what will be the output so first i'm going to compile this program and 
now so you can see the output is one two three four six nine so we have got a sorted array here so you can see that we have used how we have used selection sort to sort our given array we are using two for loops one loop is just going to increase the value of i so that after every iteration we will get the minimum value at uh, this position the first position of this array so this is basically the selection sort and since we are using two for loops so the time complexity of the selection sort is going to become big O of n square which is not a good time complex this is a poor time complexity so what we're just going to do is in the sorting algorithms we will learn a lot of algorithms so the first one is the selection sort then we will move on to the bubble sort and as we will move on from one sorting to the another we will make this time complexity much much better so that it will take less time to sort a given array so thanks for watching